Hi, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse, and today we're showing you a new app from DJI designed for the guys out there who are using the XT thermal camera. It's called DJI XT Pro. Now, uh, this is a iOS app today, so I've got it running on an iPad Pro 9.7 here, or uh, you can use it on an, an iPhone. It's not available for Android just yet, and it is a free app. Uh, what it's designed to do is make your job easier if you're using the XT camera. The settings, the controls, they're a little hard to understand exactly what everything does, but XT Pro puts it right in the palm of your hands, makes it very easy to understand. So let's go through the app and I'll show you some of the key features here. So here you can see me. Uh, hi, how are you? Right there. On the right hand side, we have the magnifier. So depending on which camera you have, you can zoom in at different magnifications. I got a spot trigger right there. So I can uh, uh, put my hand up there, see, see how hot my hand is basically. It's a little cool out here right now. Turn that off. I'll go into the palettes and we can change the palettes very quickly to understand what they are. So white hot, there we go. One of my favorites for most things. Go down here to, uh, you know, rain. Oh yeah, there we go. That, that's making me look good. So you can see changing the palettes, super, super easy. On the top, it looks like the Go app with our telemetry data, signal strength settings, uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius, and what mode we have the camera in. I have it in radiometric JPEG right now. So I'm gonna go over here down to the, the settings. We can see some of the different options here. So on video mode, I want NTSC, photo mode, radiometric JPEG. Now I'm not using the radiometric version of the camera. I'm using the standard performance version. But even with that, it's going to store temperature data in the JPEG file. So I can take that file and put it into FLIR tools and run different reports on it. Minimum, maximum, average temperatures, spot metering. The different things that I, I need to create a report within FLIR tools is still capable of being done with the performance camera with radiometric JPEGs. Shoot mode, single or interval, region of interest, the gain, what scene type it is, and then the battery settings for our flight and setting the C1 and C2 button that you can see here. I'm gonna go over to the isotherms and turn isotherm on. And I have it set for 77 degrees to 96 degrees. And that's gonna make anything in that temperature range really show up and pop so I can make sure I'm finding something properly. Now a good one for that is gonna be ice fire. It gives it a little bit more color in that to make those things stand out. So again, this is a free app from DJI. So you know you can trust it with your equipment. DJI XT Pro, available in the Apple iTunes Store right now. Uh, some of the normal features you'd expect, the map setup, the live view, the radar scope on the bottom, all my telemetry data on the bottom, and something that I really, really like for the search and rescue guys, look all the way down in the bottom right-hand corner, and it's showing longitude and latitude in live mode. So if I need that, I can do a screenshot of it and know exactly where that copter was at that time. So again, check it out in the iTunes store, DJI XT Pro. It is free to download right now, and it probably always will be as all the other DJI products are. But this has been Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.